Alright, this is Eric Bailey of NintendoLegend.com with a Let's Play for Ice Hockey. Very early NES game. One or two player game, obviously. You can select the countries from USA to even Sweden, Poland, Canada, the Soviet Union, and Czechoslovakia. Along with other options on the screen. And although it's tempting to be one of these other countries, I am going to go ahead and just be the U.S., and of course we have to play Canada. As for speed, this determines the quickness of the game along with the actual time that elapses, so we're going to make it as fast as possible with the shortest time per period for the shortest video. The great thing about ice hockey, of course, is the customizable sizes for the people on your team. You can actually adjust from one of three options. The fat guy, quote unquote, hits the hardest but is the slowest and often knocks other size players down. The skinny guys are the best at face-offs, are the fastest, but have the weakest shot. And then of course the all-around middle guy, who is decent at everything. I actually like two fatties, a medium guy, and a skinny guy, so that's the team I'm going to go with right there. Have power, one guy who does face-offs, and an all-arounder. So let's get started with Daisaki. Oh, I forgot to have the skinny guy face-off, but other than that, here we go. And you have got to be kidding me. Okay, looks like this is going to be a long game. The Canadians are up 1-0. I don't remember them being such feisty scorers, but... Surely, we can catch up and tie them here. The A button passes, and sometimes you can intercept the puck like I just did. The B button shoots, and the longer you hold the B button, more powerful the shot will be. And oh, now I can play the goalie just fine. Earlier I was having trouble. The goalie has complete analog control. Anytime you're using the directional pad, you are also moving your goalie. And that's essentially it. It has a few of the rules from hockey. Like icing is in effect, and there's a fight mechanic. Not quite like Blades of Steel. But this is one of my favorite games. It's a lot of fun. Although I do recommend having a second player. I'm, I'm nervous here if the computer's winning. I don't remember them being this difficult to score on either, but I suppose that's neither here nor there. Come on, get in there. Spicy Canadians. Aww. All right, let's actually have our skinny guy doing the face-offs now. You just tap the A button a whole bunch, and you'll pretty much win every time. It's a little erratic to try and control your player. It's hard to describe, but when you're trying to get them to go exactly where you want, it's difficult. I don't know if they're trying to replicate what it's like to really skate on ice, but especially on defense, it's tough to exactly intercept the opposing players. And every time you line up to shoot, you face that dilemma of, do I really crank back and hold on the B button a while to do a... Oh, really? <laughs> okay, that one wasn't even right, guys. Come on. Right, maybe I can't do commentary and play at the same time. My point was, when you shoot, you have the dilemma of holding B for the longest time you can and going for a super powerful shot. But then the longer you wait, the more likely that one of the opposing players is just going to come take the puck for you. And down 0 to 3, that's the end of the first period for me. So now we switch sides. The one nice thing about the fat guys is when they shoot, usually if a skinny guy tries to make contact with them, they bounce right off. And you have to forgive me if I'm not using much ice hockey lingo. I don't follow hockey real close, I admit. But... Oh, 
No, okay. I was focusing too much on moving my offensive players and not on the goalie. You should probably just, whenever your goalie is within sight, focus on controlling them. That's the best advice I can offer, but then again I'm losing 0-4, to four, so who am I to give advice on ice hockey? I thought I was pretty good at ice hockey, but oh well. Oh, okay, this is a fight. When you tap the A button a whole bunch and they're trying to get position 2 on the puck, sometimes that happens, a big melee with everybody, and now I have someone in the penalty box. So quite a power play opportunity for Canada. But we'll be alright, you know, it's resilient Americans. We're ready for a miracle. Oh, oh, we're fighting again. And I forget how the computer determines which team really needs to send someone to the penalty box, but apparently it was me again, so... Two on four, this will be interesting. We'll get it there. <laughs> oh, this is awful. I love how purely arcade style this game is, and how, even though it's a very early game, it's so simple, so fast-paced. It manages to handle all of these little moving sprites so well. There we go, got my whole team back! Goal! That was nice. Not much time left in the period, though, so I don't think a comeback is going to happen. I'm certainly going to give it an honest try. I suspect the computer may be resorting to a tactic where they're just kind of freezing the puck and keeping it away. And... Okay, now they're being a little more aggressive, but... Two periods down, one to go. Now for the Zambonis. This scene is very nostalgic for me. I don't know how you feel about it, but it's one of my favorite little scenes on the NES. Alright, let's do this! I also like how the ref magically appears from nowhere at mid-ice. That's, that's a nice magical touch, you know. And how there are actually some heads in the crowd that turn this way and that way in their sea of pink. Come on, medium guy! Let's do it, medium guy! Nope, no, okay. No, but seriously, I, I was fully expecting a win. I used to play this game a lot. Go oh, there I am talking about something. Getting scored on again. I used to play this game a decent amount, but now that I think about it, it usually was with a friend or not against the computer anyway. So maybe the computer has always been this good, and I've always been this bad. This is a really humbling experience for me. score at least one more goal. Uh, uh, uh. Nope. Okay. Denied. Oh. <sighs> That's... You'll notice at this setting, 
the time is ticking by much quicker than it would be if those were real seconds on the clock, so that's why the game is going to be so short. And more like half seconds. Oh! Alright, that was actually a nice shot. But no more. Please, stop the bleeding, put me in my misery. Um, I think I'm ready to be done here. NES it had a few good hockey games, didn't it? Ice hockey, blades of steel, pro sport hockey. Oh, an icing call! A last second icing. Well, we get to see icing, but it's going to be to no avail. Game's almost over. This has been Let's Play Ice Hockey with Nintendo Legend. Thanks for watching. There's the Canadian Victory Dance. The moral of the story is... Canadians are good at hockey. I am not. And that's ice hockey. Thanks for watching.